smile. Yeah. You look angry. Hey everybody, this is Dustin from California Re Specialist. Today on Shop Talk, we're going to be talking about a suburban water heater. And what I wanted to show you on a suburban water heater, if actually if you can come in here a little bit closer, this is the area of where your heating element's at. And so when you're going through and you're replacing your anode rod and you're flushing out your tank with a flush wand, make sure that you disconnect your power. If you remove the screws from this cap underneath, what you're going to find is you're going to see two wires connected to a heating element. The back side of that heating element is going to look like this. Inside the water heater, it's going to look something like this. It may be a little bit longer, but what we want to talk about is the calcium and lime and the growth that's scaled on the heating element. So normally when we do a service, if these are accessible, we're pulling them out and brushing them all off. But in order to get to them, you need to have a tool. So this is a water heater heating element socket. This will go in there and it's shallowed walled so that it will fit onto it. And so that you can use a half inch socket or you can reduce it down to a three eighths and then you can you be able to remove it. Sometimes there's other situations where you have to have even a thinner wall socket to get in because of the metal that's cut out. So this is a thin wall socket and some people refer to it as a stem socket it also is made to fit over that same connection. And then you'd use a screwdriver or metal shaft in order to, to slip in there and turn it. So if you, these are two tools you're gonna wanna keep in your tool cart. Um, periodically, like once a year, it's suggested to go ahead and do a water heater service and pull those out. So thank you so much for watching Shop Talk. Hey, don't click off just yet. I've linked some other videos for you to see what's going on in the shop and some of our product offerings in the store.